Good morning and welcome to day six of Vlogtober, the day when I recorded an introduction in the car when I got to work and then realised I hadn't pressed record. So you're getting a little voiceover from me to begin with. Uh, it was a working day for me because it's Wednesday today. So here is a little oversight into my day, arriving at work and blue autumnal skies outside and then dashing off mid-morning when I heard that there was petrol available at a garage up the road. It was all the way back to Junction 19, but it's also affecting the A5. All the way till just before five when I left for the day. I apologise for this light. <laughs> the sun is really low in the sky and it's shining right in my face. I won't talk for long. Uh, yeah, it's been an interesting day. I managed to sneak out mid-morning. One of our, um, one of my colleagues mentioned that a petrol station quite near here uh, happened to have petrol when she passed it. So my boss said, go, go, go and see if you can get some. So I did, and I managed to fill fill up. I, you know, so that's brilliant. It wasn't cheap. The prices have gone right up. Uh, so um, I managed to fill up my car, which is great because Dan is practically out, which means we've now got one car with petrol for the time being to get us where we need to go. That's good. The bad thing about today is Lilia <laughs> uh, tested positive for COVID. She came home from school feeling grotty. Dan did a PCR test just in case. And uh, this one has come out positive. So he, uh, not a PCR test, sorry, a lateral flow test. Uh, it came out positive. So he then took her to the walk-in centre for a PCR test and we'll get the results of that tomorrow. Um, so I'm now going to go home and Phoebe and I will go and walk in and have a PCR test again as well. Anyway, homeward bound. on my head. <laughs> I am home. I'm just chopping things. I'm going to wash and chop some mushrooms and I'm going to chop some cabbage which we don't normally have but I just got some and figured we'd give it a go. I think I'm going to stir fry it with some garlic and we're just going to have that with some salmon and some mash. Uh, Dan's pointed out that we, Phoebe and I don't need to go and have a PCR test until we get the results of Lilia's test. So if hers comes back um, negative, there's no need for us to do it. So we're going to go and get our test tomorrow if necessary. That's the plan. And it's all within the rules of of where we are in England. I've got a tank full of petrol. Dan went to pick Phoebe up from school. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, come and say hello to everyone. I heard a thud and I'd left the door open, which leads out of the kitchen, and this one was asleep. And if we leave the door open, she makes a beeline for under our bed. You're looking out up there. Up there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so Dan got some intel when he went to pick up uh, Phoebe and there was a petrol garage up the road, like literally not even a mile up the road, that had a delivery and uh, he managed to go and get some petrol as well. So we are sorted now, I reckon we've got enough for me to continue going to work, which is great. 
Uh, Dan can work from home, so that's not a problem, but if he has meetings, he can now go in and we can still get the girls to where they need to go as well. And I'm a bit less worried about, my mum doesn't have petrol, but it means obviously that we can now get to her. So I feel a lot calmer about that situation. I think it's mainly a problem in the southeast of England. I'm not sure it's as much of a problem up north because my sister lives in Birmingham and she doesn't have a problem getting fuel. Uh, Lily is watching some telly. She's feeling sorry for herself, but she's generally just a bit under the weather. She's not feeling too dreadful. She just asked for some cheese on toast. So I'm gonna make her that. And Dan's taking Phoebe to trampolining and yeah, I had to come home a different way because there was so much traffic from a queue for a petrol garage on my route home. And it was actually, it was actually a better route home. I think I'm going to go that way from now on. It's less prone to traffic, much quieter, much more scenic. It's through the fields and all at the moment all of the hay bales are out and it was such a low sun and a red sky. It was so beautiful. So I think I might come that way more often. It was really nice. And, and you're gonna think this is a ridiculous reason for preferring a route. Um, the Christmas light displays on that route is much better than the other one. So come Christmas, it'll be more entertaining on the drive home in the dark. <laughs> hmm, I think that's quite a good reason to start going that route. I've also got a better customer service story for you. And this takes place in Asda as well. So yesterday I was, uh, bemoaning the experience I had when I went to pick something up with someone who was very rude. But today I went to get what, so the other day our smoke, one of our smoke alarm batteries went and started beeping. So I had to get a nine volt battery to replace. And I was hovering at the battery bit, looking and looking and looking. And I was, and I was looking at the side bits, up and down, round the edges. And I was just like, they don't have nine volt batteries. They're not here. And there was a man just further up the aisle with a basket and he came down and he went, what kind of battery are you looking for? And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm nine volt, but I don't think they've got them. And he said, oh, I work here, I've just finished. So I'll help you. And he, he wasn't even on duty and he helped me and he found them. So I got me nine volt batteries. So that's a much nicer story for today, isn't it? I think there are more stories of good stuff like that happening. And we tend not to share them as much, do we? It's easier to have a whinge than it is to praise something but I've had more good experiences in shops and restaurants and pubs and out and about in the world than I have had. So I should share that more and not moan about the bad stuff and get on and shut up and chop chestnut mushrooms so that when Dan gets back we can eat. This is going to be a really short vlog today I don't know what else to film really I've just it's been so busy at work and then so busy getting home and sorting everything out I think this is going to be a short one, but I think we can live with that today. Oh, I'm really looking forward to getting my pyjamas on and sitting down later with my feet up, watch the end of Bake Off, because we didn't see the end last night because I fell asleep, and having my hot milk and a couple of my chocolate biscuits. I'm probably falling asleep before the end again. <laughs> Slightly eclectic mix of things, but it's all tasty looking. Mm, it smells nice. This. Thank you. Mm, that, uh, the cabbage is a lovely, healthy looking green colour. Cabbage is lovely. Mmm. That is nice. Oh, yeah. I've got my jammers on. It's, oh, it's about quarter to nine now. Dan will be home in a minute with Phoebe, who he's just gone to pick up, take my makeup off. So. 
staying a little bit away. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, so I'm just going to say goodnight now because I'm going to go and chill out with Lilia uh, from a distance, just in case. And uh, do a bit of knitting, get Phoebe into bed and have my lovely hot milk and my special biscuits. My McVitie's very important biscuits with caramel in. I love these with my hot milk. And I remembered as well that on the bit that I recorded when I got to work this morning and then realised I hadn't recorded it when I came to edit, I had said how much you'd all made, well, so many of you commented on yesterday's vlog to say that I filmed making an egg sandwich and then the next shot I was wrapping my um, advent swaps and it looked like I was wrapping up my egg sandwich and that really made me laugh. That was a bit of an editing fail. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad it made you all giggle. It made me giggle when you pointed it out. Very funny. I promise you I don't wrap up egg sandwich. If you're doing an advent swap with me, I promise you I, you don't have an egg sandwich on its way to you. <laughs> See you tomorrow.